Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I have another video making loads of cards using dies. Now the dies that I will be working with today are from the latest Designer's Choice by Tonic Studios. This is a um, kit of dies that uh, comes up every month. You don't have to be a subscriber for that, you just take a look at uh, what's uh, every month and if you like it you can order it. Now this comes with lots of dies and I'm going to take them out so you can see them better. The first one die cuts this beautiful shape. You can shape your flaps of a card. You can even shape an envelope if you want to. Then there is this beautiful lace design that fits inside that outline. And then you get many of those border dies and I'm going to show you many ways on how you can use them. There are border dies that have a beautiful leaf design, others that have um, uh, flowers on top. And you even get thin metal dies. This one is going to give a lovely stitching on your paper. You also get another thin one. This one gives uh, little uh, squares, a row of little squares. You also get a row of little flowers. They are all adorable and I think they are one of those dies that you will be using again and again. For my first card I'm working on a white panel. I'm going to secure with washi tape this beautiful die and I think it is my favorite from all the dies in the set. I run that through my die cutting machine and before removing the die from the paper I'm adding some washi tape on the other side just to make sure that this is not going to move on me. I want this die to stay put so that I can align the edge die. Once I'm happy with the alignment they are going to click together so you know it is perfectly aligned there. Then I can remove the die that I used previously, the bigger one. So now I can run it through my die cutting machine one more time and I will end up having that beautiful design at the bottom. Now to separate uh, that beautiful design from the rest of the paper you can use your scissors at the edges like I'm doing here on both sides and then I'm going to use my paper trimmer to make the sides slightly thinner. So I'm going to cut out both the edges and you can see the final piece. Now along the line I'm going to add some glue and I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue here. And I did cut out a very thin strip of uh, cardstock. This is silver cardstock. This adds a finishing touch and at the same time some shine on my panel. I'm going to use my scissors to trim off the excess paper. And I did use the two dies in the kit that cut out the flowers. One of them cuts out a solid flower, the other one cuts out a flower that has some details. I cut out the solid one from silver cardstock, which is the same as the thin strip that I added on my panel. And then I die cut the second flower, the one with the details, out of um, pink cardstock. And this is actually pearlescent pink cardstock, it's really beautiful in real life. I'm using my fingers to pop up all the different petals and then I'm going to stick them together. You can stick them directly one on top of the other or if you like the other look you can offset them. I prefer to leave it as it is. Now this is going to embellish my panel. I'm just going to stick it there. Now I went ahead and stamped the sentiment on the right that says hugs and love just over the um, silver strip and now at the back I'm going to add some dimension. This is the same pink cardstock that I used for cutting out the flower so everything matches perfectly. And then finally I'm going to stick the whole panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and this is going to leave a small border all around. Now you can embellish your card even more if you like with gems. In this case I'm going with Nouveau Dream Drops. This is probably my favorite color and the most used of uh, the Dream Drops that I have. And it's the Dream Drops Cloud 9. It has a lovely iridescent um, finish that matches pretty much every project. So here is a look on the first card for today. Really elegant, absolutely gorgeous. And you can see here some close-up photos. Now another way to use this die is to create a gatefold card. So here I cut out two of those flaps just like I did for the first card but this time I'm going to uh, back them up with vellum and I have some heavy vellum here. I'm using some Nouveau Deluxe glue all around and I'm going to add a few dots here and there where the paper is quite solid. And I did cut out 
one more piece from vellum so that I can place it on top. I will use my scissors to cut off the excess paper and then I will repeat the same process for the other flap. I used my scoring board to make a couple of uh, folds on the side. So just with your bone folder, reinforce that fold. Make sure that you can easily create that um, flap. This is important because you can now stick it on top of your card base. Like so. This is going to overlap one on top of the other, but of course you can cut them smaller if you don't want them to overlap so they can meet exactly at the center. I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back to stick them down and if you don't want to see those flaps at the back you can always cut out another piece of paper and just cover them up. Like if the paper is uh, white and it is um, four and a quarter by five and a half then it is going to completely cover up the back. I really don't mind this is a handmade card and I actually like those uh, borders at the back. And since I always like some sparkle on my card, I'm going to add some gems here and there. And I did find these gems which are pretty much the same color with my cardstock. This die cut has lots of flowers, so this is where I'm sticking down all those gems at the center of the flowers. To keep my card closed, I created this band and I also stamped the sentiment on top. Make sure that this band is quite loose so you can easily slide it up and down. Another option to keep your card closed is to use a beautiful ribbon instead of that paper band and it's going to give another level of elegance on your card. For the next card let's use one of the border dies from the kit. Now I have this uh, beautiful satin green cardstock and um, the border that I chose has a beautiful um, leafy design on top so I'm going to align it and I'm using the lines on my glass mat to make sure that this is completely straight. I run it through my die cutting machine and now I have a lovely panel. I don't want to have those edges, I just want this design to look as if it is floating there so I'm going to cut off the top and the bottom and look how beautiful this panel looks. Now you can have anything at the back, it can be a color, it can be glitter, you can turn it into a shaker cut which is what I'm going to do for the next card. But for this one I'm going to keep it nice and simple, sometimes simple is best. I'm going to pop this panel on top of my standard card by using some foam tape at the back. Dimension in this design is really important just because that beautiful lace design is not laying flat on top of the white paper. You get uh, shadows which really helps it to stand out. I stamped my sentiment on a thin strip of uh, white cardstock and then I'm going to embellish it with three pre-made flowers but of course you can cut out flowers and embellish it using the dies from the kit. So here is a close-up look and some close-up photos. And now for the last card for today, let's use another one of those borders. This time I'm going to use it on a, a yellow panel. I'm going for a really simple design, but this is going to be a shaker card. And when you have that interactive element on a card, you really don't have to do lots with the design. So at the back I'm adding some double-sided tape. I'm going to peel it off and stick on top an, a piece of acetate. This is acetate that I keep from packaging. I like to recycle them. Always make sure that your acetate is nicely stuck on top of your paper since you don't want your shaker mix to fall out. So I did add some foam tape all around that window and I'm adding some iridescent confetti here, just a few scoops will do. And then I'm going to peel off the backing, I'm going to cover up the window with my uh, white panel there and then I'm going to stick the whole thing on top of a standard card leaving a little white border all around. Now as a sentiment you can stamp something, you can die cut something, lots of options here, you can even embellish it with flowers like I did in the previous card. For this one I decided to just go with a simple hello die cut which I'm going to stick just over the border and you can probably notice that in the design there is a row of uh, flowers, I'm adding a dot of glue at the centers and then I'm going to stick on top a little gem, this is going to add even more sparkle on my card and I'm going to call this card done. So here are some close-up photos on the last card for today. 
And these were all the cards that I made using the new designer's choice kit by Tonic Studios. You will find links just like always down below in the description area. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. A big thank you for joining me today and I wish you all a lovely weekend.